My review of the Parkdale Walk-In Clinic. Mm. So, uh, a a few preliminary things, thoughts, are that, uh, okay, in Canada, healthcare is free. Therefore, it's great, but doctors don't really give a shit. They have no incentive to work hard or to not. And, uh, you know, so they just like, basically, uh, oh, I have a barbecue on Friday. I I really don't want to deal with patients right now. Uh, whereas in the states, uh, because healthcare is not free, you can pay for quality uh, care. So there's a there's a a fucking walk-in clinic in Parkdale, Toronto, right? It is the most incompetent place in the world. And here is my review of these assholes. Okay, first of all, the uh, the receptionists. They do not follow through with anything. So they will say, okay, we, we're going to, yeah, yeah, we'll schedule you an appointment. And then they don't. <laughs> it's really ridiculous. Another time, um, the receptionist goes, just says to me, she goes, two. And I go, what? Excuse me? She goes, two. Go, yeah, yeah, what do you mean, two? She says, two p.m. And I'm like, well, you can make entire sentences. Like, you don't have to just, you know, say two like, what is this, caveman shit? Yeah, this is like the worst. This place deserves to be shamed. And I've gone to other clinics since then. Like, I've given up on these guys. But all the other clinics in Parkdale, they're all like, oh yeah, we've heard about how bad these guys are. They're horrible. I saw one doctor there, and I says to her, I go, uh, you know what, you're not helping me. And I'm like, what about the Hippocratic Oath? The Hippocratic Oath is basically an oath that every doctor has to swear by, which is like, do no harm. I'm like, what about the Hippocratic Oath? And she's like, yeah, yeah. Huh. Oh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, was, I, I, guess, I guess I'm failing on the Hippocratic Oath. They all just can't wait to get home, and they only became doctors so that they could, um, you know, have re- renown or repute, but they never gave a shit about caring for people. And that's that's the story about most people, most jobs, priests, right, uh, lawyers, right. It's supposed to be a noble profession, politician. Doctors can be the worst. They can be the most evil fucks. You know, I once had a friend who was suicidal, and she would uh, slit her wrists, and she would call the nine one one, and they would they would come, and then they would say, "Oh God, you again! Like Jesus Christ, why can't you just kill yourself properly?" And she was crying, and I said, well, I can kind of understand, like, you know, when people have real problems, and you got this, you know, person that's always, like, uh, crying wolf. And she she started crying, and she goes, no, she goes, the Hippocratic Oath means you do no harm. You have to help no matter what. And they don't understand. Parkdale Walk-In Clinic, that is a sick, evil place. And you see the phone number right there, it's fine. That's an awful place. They're all cruel and mean. And you know what? I don't really blame them entirely because, put it into perspective, uh, Parkdale has a lot of, there's a lot of junkies walking around. So you, I can understand how they'd be like, okay, well, you're another junkie and you're asking for this or that. Um, In my case, I have anxiety, so I require anxiety medication and I've been um, quite reasonable and I've, I've explained myself to them. But I can understand, benzos, you don't want to prescribe them. Um, And everybody in Parkdale is a junkie. However, you still shouldn't have this magnanimous, if that's the right word, attitude, like where you don't even want to listen to the person. I'm sorry that you became a doctor and that you have to treat people. I'm sorry that like you're dealing with people who maybe they're incompetent. Maybe they they got drunk and they they broke their arm because they were stupid. But that's part of the job. That's part and parcel of your job, right? You're dealing with people who, oh, maybe they, they're obese, so they're, they, they're, they're going to have a heart attack. But you still have to treat them. You can't say, well, you shouldn't be such a fat ass, right? That's why you become a doctor, not so you can just get the paycheck and say, oh, look, I'm a doctor, and I'm going to get a hot wife because I'm a doctor. That's not why you become a doctor. And, you know, I, I just think it's terrifying the kind of psychopaths that become doctors or psychiatrists. 
we all know about Brian Wilson. Google it. But it's terrifying that your life is in the hands of, sometimes of some narcissistic psychopath. Um, I think one out of ten doctors is wonderful and they actually care. They actually have love for their patients, whatever you want to call it. Just like one out of ten priests are amazing. One out of ten psychiatrists are amazing. One out of ten artists are amazing. But the other nine out of ten are just vicious, nasty fucks that they can't, they just want their paycheck so they can impress people and buy a pool in their backyard. So that's the end of my rant. Parkdale Walk in Clinic. You see that number right there. They are the worst. The worst. They should be ashamed of themselves. It's embarrassing to see the way that they carry on. And uh, there you go. Google, you know, YouTube uh, walking, Parkdale Walking Clinic. For the record, now it's on YouTube. Screw you. Evil, sick fucks. Yeah, just one more thought. Anybody who's ever been in the hospital for like a serious problem knows how vulnerable you are when you're ill. I mean, you could be on your deathbed, whatever. And for a doctor to take advantage of that and be like, yeah, you know, uh, I, I don't you know, I don't feel like it. I got to get home. Is just terrible. Abs- I don't know why you became a doctor, but that was the wrong reason if you don't care. And I'll end this optimistically. You know what? The 10% of doctors who actually are awesome make up for everybody else. Like, oh, it's so beautiful when there's a doctor that actually is trying to treat the person actually wants to do the job it it just like they're lifesavers like it's the most noble profession in the world when the person is (laughs) interested in doing the job if you like gays click like if you like blacks comment if you like women click notification bell if you like gay women subscribe and if you like gay black women uh patreon human warnings give